Does this sound familiar to you? You are in the middle of a project and for some reason it feels that everything is moving way too slow. And then you ask the person who is supposed to be developing the current item and they tell you they already finished. Why is the next person not starting already? Why didn't they talk between each other? Let's fix that. If you're working with teams, it's quite common that you're probably working with tasks. And one of the things that people will do is basically come here to their board and select that something is completed. Now, what if we could make that whenever they decide that their task is completed, the next person gets automatically notified. What I'm going to show you is simple and we can build on top of it to make it more complex and to put more logic. But it's a start and it's a powerful start. The Power Automate flow looks like this. It's simple, as I was telling you. So what do we have? The first thing that we have is when a task is completed. That's our trigger. This trigger would look for the name of the group and the plan ID. Basically, in this case, task. If we go to Teams, this is the name of our group and this is the list that we have our task. When the task is completed, what's going to happen is the following. We're basically going to do three things at the same time. We're going to send an email to the next person saying, hey, the previous task was done. It's time you start yours. We're also going to create that next task for that person who needs to do it. And just in case, we're going to post on their channel so that they also know that, hey, there's a task that it's new for you and you should get going. So the email, we can completely automate and we can do that who are we sending it to can be automatically selected or not. In this case, we're always sending it to the same person. We're telling them, hey, the task was completed. We can always specify here which task. We will also add something in the body. Then we're going to create the task. This task that we're going to create, it can be in the same group and for the same planner board, or it could be in a completely different one. That's up to you. We just add the title and whatever other information we want to add on that list. We can decide in which bucket, when it starts, when it's due, who it is assigned to, all of that information, we just add it here. And finally, we post a message in a chat channel. We're basically posting as a flow bot. We're posting in the chat with a flow bot so that we know that it will for sure pop up to them as a conversation and it will not be lost in the many channels in the many teams that they may have. Then we add the recipient and then whatever message we want to transmit to them. We can add here all the information that we want from the task. Uh, for that, we will need to do it below the task. That's up to us. All of these will be triggered at the same time. If we wanted to have information in the email or in the post from the task that we're creating, we needed to move all of this basically underneath it. Just like that. And just like that. This way we're sure we make sure that we can add information here that is, for example, the task that we're creating, what's the title, or what's the ID, or the start name, or the, the start time, or the due time, or any other thing that we feel that they need to know on the email. This is really simple for processes that are always the same. You could basically automate the whole creation of task. If your processes are not always the same, now you need to decide. Do you want that your processes always look exactly the same, or you want something that looks a little bit more custom, and therefore this will be way too simple. If you found this useful and you need some help in any of your developments, let me know on the link that you have in the description. And if you want to look for any other development or any other thing in the Power Platform, check out this video right here. You'll probably find it useful.